All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, the honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like the Akin Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, hey, and the you know the Spirit hit me to do this video. You know, I'm going to be using a couple of verses. Hey, the brother uh, uh, Yuwana Dun from GMS Yuwan, uh, he he also kind of gave me some inspiration for this one. All right, uh, now I'm going to be pulling a clip here from Blood and Bone, um, the movie, right? It says a racist clip from Blood and Bone. It's a pretty decent movie. Check it out. You know, it has a lot of fighting and action in it, action in it, but it also has a decent storyline as well, you know, for a, for a B movie, you know, for a, <clears throat> a Jake B movie. All right, but basically, the point in this video, don't forget the people in this world will use and abuse you, and don't forget that Esau Edom our enemy, he doesn't like us. He sees us as entertainment. He sees us as objects to use to better himself. So be wary, you know, your interactions in this world, even with your boss, you know, or cold motherfuckers at work. Don't let don't 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 let motherfuckers <laughs> shift off their responsibility on you. And then when all goes crashing down, then you catch all the blame. All right, and just being weary in general of mother of of especially these heathen all right you know hey in the kingdom the way that we look at them and the way that they look at us will be reestablished. see here in this world you know we went we went through the public school system we didn't you know even though we know what we know now but you got to keep in mind the majority of us we've you've been alive brainwashed longer than you've been in this truth so it's it's still going to take you time to shake off some of your old actions and mentality and you got to always keep in the back of your head that these heathen don't give a nothing of a fuck about you and will use you at every drop and dime they are not good people not only them but wicked niggas too these people ain't trying to be upright like us a motherfucker will send you to your death if he can and run your fucking pockets all right so hey this is your brother uh malak from gms detroit we're gonna let this play and get some scriptures let's go fellow like yourself want to hang around with a bunch of stuffy old white guys same reason you want to hang around those stuffy old white guys Power. and you, what you're about to see is this interaction between this jake and this this edomite this is basically his handler and he he's he, you know this jake normally he does as he's told but he wanted to catch some lip with, with boss and so boss had to remind him of his place connections but let's keep it real I'm just a cool, mellow fellow. Just shucking and jiving. You know, let me see if I can get down. Crip walking, basketball playing, singing, dancing, and taking out your garbage. That's what I am to you. You're right. You are African American. Hey, and Salaka, you may have to hold the phone to your ear to hear what they're saying. But, you know, the Jake, he's saying, you know, to you, I'm just a dancing Negro, basically. And the Edomite, he says, he said, oh, yeah, you're right. And what else is he about to add? Mellow. Okay, hey, here we go, y'all. I was able to find a better quality and better, better audio. So, you know, bear with me. Mellow, like yourself, want to hang around with a bunch of stuffy old white guys. Same reason you want to hang around those stuffy old white guys. Power. Connections. But let's keep it real. Because at the end of the day, that's pretty much what it all boils down to. Isn't it, Franklin? I'm just a cool, mellow fellow. Just shucking and jiving. Crip walking, basketball playing, singing, dancing, and taking out your garbage. That's what I am to you. You're right. Of course that's what you are to me. You are African American. And myself and my friends, for the most part, don't care for the company of African Americans. Quite frankly, we're entertained by you. We're thrilled by your high-flying acrobatics on the basketball court. That wonderful sense of rhythm you have. Your animal athleticism. But apart from that, 
We have no use for you. Understand? I mean, let's face it, James. Do you set a place at your dinner table for your pit bulls? Now, is this keeping it real enough for you? <laughs> hey, you know, I'm going to use that for the, uh, for the uh, backdrop. Hey, Esau kept it real with him. He said, y'all are inner He said, I don't particularly, we don't particularly like being around you African-Americans. He said, you are our entertainment. You know, he said, we love seeing you and your high flying acrobatics on the court. And we'll get some scriptures on that. See our people, y'all in the world, you know, a, 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 a nigga get, they let a nigga go play some b-ball and he thinks he's good. Or a, a nigga go get him a white woman and he think it's all good. Nigga, it's not good. They still hate us. They still want to destroy us. All right. Right here. Perfect. This is a good one. Uh, uh, I'll start at verse 3. All right. Sirach 13 and 3. The rich man hath done wrong, and yet, in, and yet he threateneth withal. The poor man is wrong, and he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. If thou have anything, he will live with thee yeah he will make thee bear and will not be sorry for it and that's the that's these devils and these heathen to a t these motherfuckers will use your life force we're the salt of the earth they can't copy what we copy they can't do what we do but they'll profit off us and even us in this truth y'all we got to be cognizant you know don't be like hey look i'll put you like this yesterday right yesterday you know i'm, I'm uh, you know dealing with a stomach bug it was all fucked up in the morning, man. You know, and I, I was trying to make my way to work. And I was like, I was like, man, fuck this. <laughs> you know, I call my manager. I say, look, man, I'm not coming in today. You know, hey, lad. I ain't say it to him like that. But I prioritize my physical health and well-being over the job. Because had I went into the job fucked up, which I, you know, was about to do, and would have messed around and got hurt at work or worse... They not going to put me in the dirt. They not going to make sure my family's straight after. My family going to get a weak sauce, little $30,000 worker death compensation check, if that. You know? Hey, don't, 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 don't let these motherfuckers strain your, your blood and soul out of you because they will. This is the man that we're dealing with. He does not care. He has sent many to their graves suffering while profiting. You know, just, just if you, you know, brothers and sisters who are more familiar, you know, with the business sector of things, you know how corporate go. You know how Esau will pay his workers. You getting 16. You got to think. If this asshole is able to pay all of his workers, let's say 25 an hour plus overtime, you know, time and a half pay. Everybody working 12 hour shifts plus 10 to 12 hour shifts. If y'all think, you know, the workers think they doing something making that type of month of how much fucking money you think the company's making off us man that's crumbs compared to what he's making over top and our people don't get it that's why they're disillusioned by being a rap star you know a basketball player football player because they think that that's their way to make it no he is making billions off you niggas heads and you still don't get the bigger picture you still don't get the bigger picture and when it's all said and done and you down and dead and broken, he's going to ride off in his drop top with his family and you down bad. All right. Look at every look at the majority of athletes. They end up dead and broken, dying, and the team goes on without their ass. All right. Let's go back to the video. See if he got anything else to say. I have another theory on this subject matter and it goes something like this. I imagine several hundred years ago, a group of very powerful men, like yourself, were out conquering the known world. So they get to Africa, feeling pretty good about themselves, definitely feeling superior to the savages they see running in the jungle. That is, until one of the brothers drops his loincloth. And then these powerful men, all of a sudden, come face to face, so to speak, one of life's great iniquities. So after bearing witness to their high-flying acrobatics, their wonderful sense of rhythm, their animal athleticism, not to mention those magnificently large penises. <laughs> hey, 
Jake Stupid. <laughs> These very powerful men come to a very logical conclusion. Never put a gun in a black man's hand because he does have the right to be angry. And he may use those extremely large penises on white women. And they like it. So, how did I do? Did I pass? Well, let's whip them out and I'll settle that myth right here and now. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, 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 you know, Jake's stupid, you know, Jake's stupid. But then, what that goes to show you is that Esau is jealous of us and all of our talents in many ways that us as a people have been blessed, you know, uh, and, I, and I'm going to leave it there. Every man got their own, every Israelite man and woman got their own several ability. <laughs> all right. But, you know, hey, he, you know, purely he is jealous of us. And I, and you know, y'all, I've, 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 and not just he, but these heathen, I've, uh, you know, being a former athlete, if you will, I've seen it. The fact that, you know, you know, I'm not no freak of nature or nothing. You know, I'm, you know, we have, us as Israelites, we have the propensity to be fucking great at anything when we put our mind to it. And we can blow damn near anybody out the water. And Esau, he be, he, he don't know, he be hating. He be hating, you know. Esau will come up mad. Like, man, where are you, who are you? Who, who you learn from? Who show you know? And I'm like, hey, you know, that's, that's what it is. And Esau, he, he can't deal. So these heathen knowing that, these heathen knowing that we are blessed in our endeavors, what will they do? They'll take our blessing and steer us for their advantage when it ultimately breaks us down and they profit. Here we go. This is a good one. All right. This is what, uh, you know, I'm going to get a scripture to link up with this one. Actually, this will actually link perfectly going into 1 Corinthians 7 chapter. So, Sirach 4 and 27, it says, Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Now, you know, you can apply this to dealing with your spiritual leader, all right? And, but I'm going to take this, you know, dealing literally in the world, you know, say, for instance, a job, you know. If a company ain't no good, get the fuck up out of there. Don't let no company run you ragged till you die. <laughs> or you beat down or you know you're just you're just fucked off and they get their money and go you know and in any circumstance don't put yourself in a situation where you got to deal with a dummy because remember something y'all we're not bound to any of these people we're bound to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right hey, us brothers in this truth we know you know in the camp specifically we stay on point in terms of the brotherhood we stay in order you know you know the brothers that are set up over you of course and ultimately, our our heir, our master, you know, our father, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You don't owe nobody in this world nothing. All right, this is a conversation me and a brother were having yesterday. You don't owe nobody in this world nothing. Do we deal honorably with people? Yes, but you don't owe nobody nothing. All right, you don't gotta go to cousin Pookie and them birthday. You don't gotta go to nobody marriage. You don't gotta go to nobody funeral. That's another one. If you don't if you don't feel like going to your fucking your sisters in the world funeral or your brothers in the world funeral, you don't gotta go to it. You might get a couple nasty texts. Delete, delete and block. They made the button for a reason. You don't gotta put yourself in any situation outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? You and, and, and you know, take what I'm saying properly with a grain of salt. You know, don't be out here burning bridges unnecessarily. But understand what I'm saying. You don't got to get up under nobody, you know, no damn way. All right, 1 Corinthians. I'm going to start it. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Let me see. Okay, right here. Yeah. This is going to be 1 Corinthians 7 and 21. It says, Ar Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it. But if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord being a servant is the Lord's free man. Likewise, also, he that is called being free is Hamashiach's servant. Ye are bought with the price. Be ye not the servants of men. Right there. Don't let these motherfuckers in this world use you. We are not their servants. We serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Nobody else. All right? You're, you're, you are not a servitor. Uh, you know, hey, if your job keep trying to make you miss camp, man, you, hey, get them their walking papers. 
be like, look, I signed on for, uh, hey, look, <laughs> y'all not upholding my agreement with what I signed up on. I'm not about to be missing camp for no fucking, no fucking job. There's plenty of jobs out here. And that's the mindset, you know, I'm trying to uh, get y'all to understand. You don't have to allow anything in this world to screw you over in your responsibilities with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Say, for instance, you know, hey, you know, you know, brothers like myself, say, for instance, you like martial arts, right? Say, for instance, you at the boxing gym, you know, you signed up at the boxing gym or whatever. You don't got to go to the boxing gym every day after work. You know, the coach might be calling you, you know, you might got that type of relationship with him. You go on six days a week when you're going to have time to study. You know, I don't give a damn how much coach is calling me. You know, hey, no, nah, coach, I'm not calling. Hey, you only seeing me twice this week. That's it. You know, keeping it real. Straight like that. You don't got to go into no explanatory details with this guy. Why? These people aren't going to bring you your salvation. All right. And especially eat them. Do not let eat. Do not. Hey, it's a saying I like to say. Do not let white people talk for too long. Because you, <laughs> hey, you got to keep that in the back of your head, y'all. This nigga is the master manipulator. If you let Edom talk to you for too fucking long, you will find yourself uh, <laughs> with some shackles on somewhere, back picking some cotton. God damn it! Don't underestimate this motherfucker, man. It says he came with what? Let me get that real quick, and I'll be ending it here soon. I, I like that clip. You know, he had to keep it real, even though it's a movie. They was keep keeping it real. They look at us as nothing other than entertainment and a means to gain. They don't like us. They're not our friends. All right. Even these, even these, you know, hey, these heathen women or, you know, or a woman in general. Don't let, you know, for this is for the brothers now. Don't let no woman use you as a whole sex toy. If you don't feel like dealing with their ass, don't fucking deal with her. If it's not working, then it's not working. Separate from her. That's Sirach the 25th chapter. If she is not going... As you would have her, cut her off from your, uh, what was I say, give her a bill of divorce, cut her off from your flesh, all right, and leave. You don't owe, the, you don't owe these fucking harlots out here nothing. You know, if you don't got no kids with her, of course, you know, you got to, you know, take care of your young ones. If you separated already from the mother of your child, you know, do the best you can. But, you know, I'm talking about in general, you know, if you just with a chick that, you know, shit not working out, leave. Because she'll fucking leave you for whatever. All right, don't these bitches don't give a goddamn about us. You don't gotta try to play husband with this bitch. Leave that hoe. <laughs> All right, leave her for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so your life will get back right. You out here up at 1 a.m. listening to some motherfucking uh uh, uh 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 what's that what's that song? I saw you yeah, walking in the main. Nah, that's that spirit played out. We in the truth. We don't get depressed no more. All right, that's for niggas in the world. All right, Second Thessalonians. Uh, well, shit, you know, the spirit kind of changed a little bit, but Second Thessalonians 2 and 9, it says, Even him whose coming is after working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. All right, so Esau, Edom, has the ability to outright... <laughs> he, will, he will trick you if you let him. He will deceive you and lie to you and rock your ass back to sleep if you let him. All right, so, hey, you know, that was, that was about it. I just wanted to cover that, you know, don't, don't, you know, keep in mind, we have spiritual war out here. Don't let these motherfuckers get over on you. Just because we have to be righteous and upright doesn't mean we have to allow ourselves to be misused by the assholes of the world. All right. Now we, we show up and serve for our brothers. You know, we show up and do what we got to do. You're going to miss sleep. You're going to lose some money and you're going to miss out on fun time, you know, helping out, you know, the sincere sheep, you know, that's a separate thing, but dealing with these these punks in the world that want to straight use you, bleed you dry. You know, don't be a dummy. No, no, when when to get the hell out of a situation. All right, this is gonna be a uh, one more real quick. You know, since we was on the topic of women, you know, not even <laughs> not braiding the you know no women or nothing. Uh, but just, you know, for us brothers in particular, specifically, you know, we got a way of you know. We we try to be honorable stand up dudes, and you gotta remember these women in the world they don't they don't give a fuck about being you, man nigga man sh man shit uh, man you let a man what you'll be with an empty bank account car gone, you man please you know hey, 
I'm stuttering, but y'all get what I'm saying. These women in the world ain't no honorable, upright creatures. If you let them, shit. Let me just get the scripture, man. Hey, uh, Proverbs uh, 31 and 3. It says, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. All right. Don't give your ways over to people who will effing destroy you because these people in this world will do just that. They will destroy you. No mercy. They won't give a F. They'll try to get you up out this truth and get you dead. All right. So that's about it. We give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kakodash. Dev honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect. Akim wa Akwath. Learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. Shalom.